The ritual around tea is incomplete without the little nibbles and tidbits that accompany it. Both savory and sweet. Each community has its own version of nashta to go with chai. And in a city like Mumbai, which is a melting pot of cultures, one is spoiled for choices. Let's go to Aswad in Dadar and get a taste of the Maharashtrian snacks which are had with chaha. The one that's there, the pearl thick, that's called as a big bite. So uh, men wear it here on top. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that's the nose ring. That we even nose ring. Yeah, yeah, that's even I wear. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're going to look at the Maharashtrian uh, tea or chaha tradition. I know it's just about uh, butter, the vada, vada pao. So with me is uh, Devita Kutivaska Anapkar. So she runs uh, Pokan Bazaar, and which is just down the road from Aswad, where we are. So uh, she has food from all over Maharashtra, produced in Pokan region specifically. We order a lot of stuff from her. So uh, she's also like a Shivaji Park girl. She's go back here. So I thought that we'll get her to sort of tell us and take us to the Aswad uh, story. Thanks, Kalman. Thanks for having me. <laughs> no, no, absolute pleasure. Chaha. Chaha. Ha, cha. Because we're talking about chai, whatever little I remember of, of in the childhood, there used to be small tea stalls, right? And people used to have, especially after a morning walk yeah. or a round at Shivaji Park, yeah. or they, there would be small groups uh. huddling over these uh, tea stalls yeah, or know. Some pieces. Soup cutting, and cha. yeah, yeah. cutting chai, I mean. Uh. And there used to be. The Iranis were very famous, yeah, yeah. right? So still the Irani in uh, Dadar, yeah, I near Oven Fresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So manmaska and chai was, yeah. you know, an aspect of the culture. But even cutting chai in these at these small places, huh. a lot of people uh, probably would come to Aswad or Prakash yeah. as I was saying, you know, have like a good uh, happy Maharashtrian breakfast. So we have kande boi, yeah. thali peet, this huh. is bazani thali feet. Yeah. and you're supposed to have it with. Nice white butter, yeah. or you know, curd and milk. Yeah. So yeah. typically, it's a thali peat is uh, multi grain or you know, multi millet. In Marathi, the millets or the mixture of millets is called as bazani. So uh-huh. this bazani is a thali peat. Okay. And you're supposed to make it by tapping it. Okay. So it's you know, that's how it is called as thali peat. Actually, typically in the Maharashtra, now there's going to be poha, upma, mm. and the upma is more yellowish, yeah, yeah. with probably tomato also. Mm. And kitsari sabudane ji kitsari. So this is a regular yeah. thing. Yeah, Sabudana these three are like regular sabudana vada pretty much. Our kotimbir vadi also acts as your evening snacks or as your yeah. ciders. Mm-hmm. Then kotimbir vadi will typically have uh, lasun chutney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And any of the chutneys coconut yeah. freshly made. People would come here for a morning breakfast for having one of these things with a nice cup of tea. And it's supposed to be enjoyed with tea oh. simultaneously. Yeah, yeah. What we were talking about. Uh, it's like more and chow. Yeah. Chaha boy. And, and then even the puri vadi. Yeah. I love that Maharashtrian style of cup. Yeah, yeah, the, the yellow butter. Which yeah, so too, there is katsriya and then there is uh-huh. vatetechi vaji. Soup. Thank you. Yes. Up next is a Som restaurant which is located opposite the Babulnath temple. Its owner, Pinky Chandan Dikshit, greets us with big hearted Gujarati warmth and lots of lots of nashta to go with chai. I'm at a restaurant in South Mumbai, which is one of my favorites. Uh, it's going to turn an adult in a few days, few weeks. It's going to turn 18. And I'm here with one of my really dear friends from the food industry. So I'm at Song, and which is run by Pinky Chandan Dikshit. And here is Pinky. Uh, we are in our Song uniform. <laughs> so, so if you if you come to uh, Song for tea, then this is what you need to wear. <laughs> so a lot of people come here for tea. Okay, so we have a healthy lot of uh, our patrons coming in for chai. And uh, of course, Chai Shai, I went mean, gossip with that. Mm. I have this poor sister that's been coming here since the time we both went. Wow. And for the last 18 years, every single Friday, we'll see all four of them sit on that table there and catch up with the world uh, that, that they have. So it sounds very, it sounds very interesting, huh? Mm, but I'm getting a bit of ginger. Yeah, lemongrass and garam masala, but the chai masala. Um, and, and this is what on the menu has like masala. masala sign. And, and you're telling me that your chai sort of changes? Over the years, discovered that, you know, Bombay has a small mixture yeah. or a monsoon, which is good weather. You yeah. can handle all that chai ka masala, which has cloves and anman but all the warming herbs. So those are ones we use in, in our chai. Okay. And uh, in the summer, we realize that it's a bit too uh, spicy to add. So they put mint and lemongrass. And maybe a touch of ginger if you'd like it. So uh, we've been talking of food. So what else goes with the chai? Should you order some stuff? Yes, of course. Please, let's do it. 
your Gujarati, and there's no dhokla, pafra, jalebi. <laughs> <laughs> so what is all of this? We decided to create our own little Haiti platter this monsoon because a lot of our guests kept saying, uh, "You give you give us chai, you make us order all raw khana. Why can't we just have a traditional Indian yeah. like a tea time snack?" So we thought we'd do um, like a. Um, you know, like a kaya biscuit, a nan patai. Yeah. And then in our Guji houses, we do all these little matri. Wow. We, we've, we've cooked up these little Gujarati mutyas and patra. And what's this? It's like fascinating. It's like This thing is, uh, it's basically called the Bajra Methi Ka Debra. It's a puri that's made with Bajra Ka Atta flavored with Methi. And is it especially like a winter? It's a winter thing. And it's also a travel food. Dip it in, in yogurt. Ha. Or of course, chunda. The guju sweet the, pickle. The mango pickle. The mango pickle. And this is Kanyan, one of the things that most people order with their chai when they cook. Mm. So this is one of our chai toppers. You know, I'm very nice with the crunch of the persimmon. And with that, of course, the butter tawara. Treat side butter tawara is often like very healthy and yellow. When the home style is, this more home style. We do virgin, which is a, a kapoli butter tawara. Ah. It's not a Bombay butter tawara. And when we grew up in Bableshwar, my dad used to drive us down to Bombay uh, ever so often during the holidays. And we stopped at this one place in Kapoli that did these. Mm. And he never made them uh, yellow. So we thought we'd stay with them. No, it's, it's so nice. You have abalam to biscuits. Oh. You have naan katai. And and this also doesn't look like the average maida kari uh, biscuit. These are naturally ka kari biscuits, which uh, we've actually sourced from the shop next door called Somatob. So we have a uh, little shop that we opened during the lockdown. Mm. So that's been our lockdown baby. We are it's, proud to showcase all our Indian superfoods. And thankfully, even before they were famous enough mm. to be called superfoods. You've heard of English breakfast tea, you've heard of scones and all of that, cucumber sandwiches. But give me this any day, it's light, desi chai and the tabra and all those different uh, snacks which are here. And uh, I would have spoken more to you, but not good manners to speak with your mouth full. <laughs> <laughs>